What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video we're going to be doing a magic trick which involves the four kings and a little bit of storytelling. These kings, we're going to tell you a story about them and their upcomings. So before we kick the video off, we'll go with a little performance so you can see what the video looks like. Did you know that the four kings in the playing card suit were actually brothers? So firstly we had the king of clubs. He was always the fighter. He was always killing people in battles. He was always going to battles. Next, we had the King of Spades. He was called the King of Spades because he was always dig the graves so he could hide the bodies for the King of Clubs so he didn't get in trouble. Next, we had the King of Hearts. He was a lover, not a fighter. He was always there to keep everyone in check, make sure everyone was okay. And lastly, we had the King of Diamonds. He would look after the finances for all of the four kingdoms just to make sure that everything was above board and they all survived. So as you can see here, all the kings were together and even if they were lost, they would always have each other's backs because they were the brothers and they would always look after each other. So no matter what, the three, four brothers were always there for each other. So on this channel, there's a trick called the four robbers, the four jacks, or whatever it's called. Essentially, what you do is you take four of the same playing card. In this case, I've got the four kings. In that one, it's the four jacks. And you use these to tell a story. So you can see the four jacks went into rubber house. The first one went in the bottom floor, the top floor, etc, etc. You can just compensate these and use it with kings. Now, when you're doing the, the four jacks routine, there's a little slight that's needed. But with it, using the stripper deck, which we're using in this case, you don't have to use that at all. All you have to do is take the four kings, when you've got that, you just need to turn them around on the deck. So I already had that done, so I'll put them back. And then you're good to go. So with the stripper deck, essentially, when you have a card which is facing the wrong way because the cards are tapered, you are able to get the deck and strip that card out. So when you have the four kings turned the other way, you can easily strip those out of the deck then all you have to do is tell a story with them. So you can go with the same one that I did is the, uh, the actual suits of the king. Then that can be that particular trait for the king. So for example, king of hearts, he was a lover, not a fighter. King of diamonds, he liked money. You can either go down that route or you can also say the four kings were also robbers. So you can say back in the olden days, the, the four kings were robbers. So they used to go into villages and go into people's houses, take the money because that was the taxes and that sort of thing. But whatever you want to do, that's up to you. Now, essentially all you're doing is taking these cards which have been reversed, putting them somewhere in the deck. And I always like to do it so you can uh, have a, a visual display of the kings are all in the deck like so and they're lost in particular places so as you can see there they're all in random bits in the card then all you do is when they're in you can just strip them back out and then those four will be back on the top of the deck so again you take the cards you put them anywhere you want in the deck you don't have to have them sticking out you can just put them in like the four robbers and put them in straight away you don't have to show that the, those cards aren't that and then once you've done that as you can see there if you can see the four cards are actually hanging out slightly the tapered so you can easily strip them out and just like so there is the four kings stripped out so you can do whatever you want so i tend to try and strip them out and the bottom one try and get a bunch of cards as well so it looks like you've got a big stack of cards whereas you've actually like so, when you're doing it, you're just stripping out lots of cards, but the top cards are always going to be the kings because those are what's going to strip out. And just like so. So that's the bare bones of the trick, really. That's super simple, super easy. So again, take your cards, lose them into the deck. And they don't have to be in any particular order or any sort of where they're in the deck. As long as they're lost in, and then you can do it that way, or you can sort of you can build up different things so you can say right so I'm going to cut to that one there so that's the first king then you can put that down say right and then we'll cut the pack again and then what you can do is you can cut to the next king so as you can see there that's the next king put that down and say right we'll give it another cut and then we'll try and find that last king nope we didn't find it now they're a bit uh, a bit weird but we eventually found him and then the last one, so we'll say he's a bit of a trucky one. He's a bit tough to find. So as you can see, no, it's that one again, but he's actually using that card to hide behind. 
and that's just another different presentation method that you could do for the the trick to find the four kings but again this is just a, a simple thing so when you have one of the cards reversed as you can see on there you have the little tab so when you feel in with your hand you should be able to sort of split the deck at that particular point where that card is reversed so you can use that as a reveal to reveal the four kings in the the deck if you wanted to or you could do the other one where you just strip them out and then all four appear on the top hope you enjoyed that trick and if you want any more stripper deck tricks then there should be a playlist on the screen now which is full of stripper deck tricks there's also a video which has got five stripper deck tricks if you want a bit of a longer video to sort of sit down digest it and learn some tricks as well if you have any issues with this trick or want to leave any comments please leave a comment below until next time see ya